We got some awesome announcements, Adobe dropped some new updates in Illustrator and I'm going to present you some of the latest ones, so let's do this. And the biggest one would be the generative recoloring. All you need to do is select your design, go to the properties and let's select the recolor. And here we have a new category, the generative recolor beta. And check this out, we got color options and here we can type in what colors we want for the illustration. So I'm gonna go with retro vintage. We're gonna switch from pop art to retro and dial it down a little bit, check this out. So we got four new options. I'm gonna go with the second one and boom, there you go. It automatically automatically recolored. You can click on generate, it's gonna generate new ones. We have another interesting thing you can do, you can go to the layers and this time we got a filter here. You can click on and select for example the shapes and it's going to highlight the shapes the layer with all the shapes in there or you can switch it up to the text and it's gonna show only the layers with the text and so on and so forth. Basically, it's gonna switch only to one. You cannot select two or more. All right, so let's go on. Next, we got hyperlinks. This is nothing new in Illustrator, but they did an update. So I'm gonna show you, for example, I'm gonna right click on group this composition. I'm gonna select the text. And we got a new thing here, which is called the attributes. So for example, I wanna copy paste the link. I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel and copy the link, go back and I'm gonna go to image maps, select the rectangle for example and copy paste the URL here. Great, save it, file, save as, make sure to save it as PDF, click on save, save and check this out. We can click on the text and it's gonna open up my YouTube channel. They also added a new file format to the asset export, which is called WebP. These are high quality images that can be opened up quickly on the browser. And not but least, they also upgraded the image tracer. We're gonna test it out. I'm gonna drop a mid journey image. We got here auto detect, click on it. And now you can see with thumbnails, a couple of options that you can choose from. So I can go, for example, with line art, you can decrease the thresholds and it's gonna look like an old dog from the swamps but check this out this is on stroke not even on field so it is interesting i'm gonna click on expand and we got stroke lines or we can choose i don't know a photo and it's gonna make it really really detailed well i don't like none of these i never use image trace anyways write in the comment below if you are using the image trace and for what are you using it or if it's helpful or not and mainly these are the new updates in illustrator thanks for watching